The Road to Kentucky Derby 2020 continues. Here's your update for Thursday, January 16th, 2020. Don't forget, we had an update yesterday, and we also have race previews of the LeCompte Stakes and the Silver Bullet Day. Starting off with recent workouts, High Velocity, the Bob Baffert trainee who was most recently third in the LaSalle Futurity. He worked out six furlongs earlier this week. Picked up a 112 and change for the final time, and he's been working pretty steadily since that Los Al Futurity third place finish. Remember, that was a better than look trip as he had to face some pace pressure in that small field, was never really able to get away on the lead, and had his own stable mate tra chasing him, and then another horse came at him on the turn. So high velocity may be a little bit better than that third place finish. Also, he was coming back on a quick turnaround after that Bob Hope Stakes victory. Tis a magician, trained by Richard Mandela, took him six starts to break his maiden, and he was back on the work tab earlier this week. He could be pointing for the Robert B. Lewis on February 1st. Meanwhile, American Theorem, who raced a couple of times as a two-year-old, ended up missing the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. He was scratched the week of the race, and he had his first work back on the tab earlier this week on Monday. He went three furlongs in a slow 39 and change, but nice to see the first crop of American Pharaoh, American Theorem, back on the work tab. And I think they might try to get him back into a race sometime in mid-March and still try to get on that two-prep campaign, still possibly looking at a Kentucky Derby or Preakness-type run. Other prep races starting to shape up. It is the Smarty Jones Stakes, Friday, January to 24th, opening day at Oaklawn Park. And right now we have shoplifted. The winner at Remington Park in the Springboard Mile, he is pointing for that race. Ancient Warrior, Jerry Hollendorfer trained. He dominated a maiden special weight in his debut. He worked out six furlongs the other day. He's also early nominated. And a couple of other interesting maiden winners, one from Turfway Park, Artemis Eagle, also nominated early. And Marvin, a Hawthorne stake uh, runner, broke his maiden at Hawthorne in Chicago. He is also nominated to the Smarty Jones. They'll be drawing for that race on Friday, January 17th, for opening day the 24th. LeCompte Stakes, a couple of late notes. Lens Map drew the 14th post. He is uh, going to weigh his options. He may also enter the Smarty Jones Stakes and decide if he gets a better post if he wants to quick ship to Oaklawn. Otherwise, he'll be running at the fairgrounds this coming Saturday where he'll be one of the top four favorites. Other news, Silver State for Steve Asmussen. He had his final workout on Monday. He worked out four furlongs and 50, which is definitely Steve Asmussen likes to do, is either that three furlong or four furlong workout, and it usually is a Monday before a Saturday race. Another note, untitled, a maiden special weight victory by 11 links at Gulfstream Park. That was back in December. He was a private purchase by Gary Barber. He'll have a new trainer in Mark Cassie. And he'll be pointed to the Swale Stakes on February 1st at Gulfstream Park. He has had his first workout with his new connections. And it'll be interesting to see if the son of Kozan can stretch out. For those of you who don't remember Kozan, he was a horse trained by Todd Pletcher, who was two for two back in 2015. He won a maiden special weight, and then he won an allowance. And he would have been probably one of the favorites for the Florida Derby, but he got injured and never raced again. So this is his first crop, and Untitled is out of that first crop. He's had a lot of winners, so so far he's had some precociousness. Let's see if they can stretch out. The interesting thing to note, Untitled won his maiden special weight race with a Equibase speed figure of 102. And Kozan, he ran twice and his Equibase speed figures were 111 and 106. So even though as impressive as Untitled look, uh, not as impressive as Kozan ran back in 2015. That's a look at your Derby update. Remember, we'll bring you all the way up to the Kentucky Derby and Kentucky Oaks 2020. Previews of the LeCompte and Silver Bullet Stakes Day online. Who do you like in the LeCompte Stakes? And also... What are you thinking about that Robert Lewis? Do you think high velocity or are you looking at 1,000 words? Anybody else that you're considering out on the West Coast as they get ready just a couple of weeks away? Leave a comment below. Hit some subscribe as we lead you up to the Kentucky Derby 2020.